great British band that was just inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Let me read there the first part of uh, tonight's tonight's award inscription. Uh, they were inspired by musical influences from all over the world. Great Britain, the United States, Morocco, Egypt, Africa, India, and the Caribbean. They added their own vision, sorry, yes, spirit and talent. <laughs> and starting in the late 60s, they recorded a live, the live tours gave the world a new kind of heavy rock filled with depth and texture. I'd like to introduce Led Zeppelin to you. And bass guitar, John Paul Jones. And drums, John Bonham. Lead guitar, Jimmy Page. And myself, Robert Plant. one of rock's premier guitarists and musical innovators. A lot of the stuff that Led Zeppelin did was very um, innovative and um, kind of jam-oriented, jam you know, jamming on blues and on, on different styles of music and making it their, their own. Whole Lot of Love was their first big hit. There's a lady who sure on that returns is gone and she's buying the staring to heaven. Stairway to Heaven is the most played track in the history of radio. Look at that drum beat, you know it's bottom right away. He he definitely has a sound of his own from his style of playing. the untimely passing of the awesome drummer John Bonzo Bonham, the remaining band members went their separate ways. John Paul Jones has been busy producing and arranging for top artists, but retains his reputation as one of music's best bass players. Jim, Robert, and I formed a mutual admiration society, and not long ago at an airport I was seeing him off, and Jim came over to ask my advice on what to do on his next solo album. And I told him that I thought that he and Robert should spend every minute of the next six hours on that plane planning out what they should do together. Nobody's Page and Plant's current album, No Quarter, features reinvented Zeppelin favorites and exotic new songs. 